Hey guys, it's Rebecca Werstadt. We are sitting in my room today because I have a small, a uh, small problem. And it's mainly in here that I have the problem. Um, so for a while now, I have had a bad habit of collecting this sort of thing in here. And I do use it every night and I make sure to, to put it everywhere. And you guys are probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Let me, l let me just get an example. These are lotions. Th these are just a few. So, um, because I have talked about having like hand lotion and stuff by my bed, I mean, I, this is an old waterbed frame. It has a memory foam mattress in it. So I have the, you know, the old fashioned 80s headboard and everything. So I've got all kinds of stuff in my bed. But today I got an Ipsy Glam Bag um, bubble wrapper in the mail and I was like, what is this? And then it dawned on me, I used points in June to buy another hand cream on Ipsy. And instead of it shipping with my bag last month, which I got a hand cream in my bag last month, I thought it was part of the, Never mind. So back in June, I got a hand cream. This one. And then, let me, and then in, in the month before that, I got this one, which is the hemp's one. And then in July, I got this one but I bought this as an add-on and then I traded in points for this not realizing I just got it in June and this one I've, I've been using as you can tell by there's a there's a, a dent in it and it's it's most of the way gone so let me just let me let me just grab one okay there's only one in here that's like a combination of other like lotions and stuff that um, doesn't have a label so We'll, we'll go through, make sure I don't have any hiding in my, my nightstand. Okay, so these are all the lotions currently by my bed. So I have the Suave Everlasting Sunshine. I wish they would make this in a perfume. I have had the body wash, the bubble bath, the deodorant, the shampoo and conditioner, and I love the smell of this stuff. This lotion is kind of crap though. It's like very liquidy, very watery, doesn't feel very hydrating. <sighs> but I love the fragrance of it. So I keep that here. It's, it's one of the main lotions that stays. This is one I bought at the Dollar Tree. Literally, it cost me a buck. This is the Apple Pomegranate Scent Hand and Body Cream. It's a nice thick cream. It's almost empty. It has like very little down here. And um, I, it's a nice thick moisturizer, but again, it was a buck. Then this is an old one, like really old. I can't even tell you when I bought this, like early 2000s old. But it still smells nice. This is from Melaleuca. This is the Pear Raspberry Body Satin. So I leave this in here upside down because it's almost empty. Um, this one's also a really thick, nice moisturizer that, you know, I like use on my legs and stuff. Then we get into everything that's in my lap. Now, some of these I've actually, um, I've had from multiple from the same brand like one two three four four are from one brand two are from another brand these two are from the same brand and then I have like three miscellaneous ones so we'll start with the three miscellaneous ones one of them is this moonlight path from Bath and Body Works they make a body spray in this and I love the way this stuff smells uh, actually, if the, I had a candle in this, I would probably burn it or put it on a warmer because I love the way this smells. It's like a musky freesia smell and let's see, it has lavender, grapeseed oil, apple fruit extract. It says infused with real lavender. I don't know. It reminds me of like a musky freesia smell and I like it, um, which is why I don't use it very often. It's, it's, about three quarters of the way full. I use it very rarely. Then um, from Ipsy a long time ago, I got this Osic or Osic Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cure. This one, Black Forest of Dreamlike Fantasy. Uh, 
it's kind of florally, smells kind of like peony. So I have this one. Then we have another one from the Dollar Tree. This came in like a, a holiday gift set. This is another apple pomegranate. As you can tell, I like apple pomegranate. Um, and I have this one in the bathroom. And even though it looks like it's got product up here, it's all the way down here. So I've only got a quarter of it left. I leave it upside down so I, I can get, get stuff out of it. Then we get into the two newest ones. Well, this one I keep on my desk. This is the original version of Hemp's. Um, the herbal body moisture. So I leave this on my desk so I can put it on on my hands and my arms and elbows and occasionally my face while I'm sitting at my computer. I really really like the fragrance in this. It's very light but it doesn't like burn my skin or irritate my skin which is great. This one I just got in my July Ipsy so I've only had it about a week and a half. This is the Citrine Crystal and Quartz. It has like golden glitter in it and it smells amazing. It smells really good like a fruity citrus with a hint of grapefruit smell um it's a sweet citrus smell so this one's brand new it's been sitting on the nightstand so i guess i'll add this to my my collection then we have two from ahava um one of them is the dead sea water mineral hand cream from nc kiss and this one is almost slap empty like i can barely get anything out of here i'm like trying to get the product out um it's it reminds me of the fragrance of that sunflowers perfume from like the 90s that everybody loved i loved the smell of it but i was allergic to it i couldn't go anywhere near anybody wearing that stuff without my eyes turning red and swelling shut and me sneezing and coughing and wheezing and all kinds of fun stuff it it was not fun i love the fragrance of it though so this reminds me of that and then um, in another, and I got this in an Ipsy. A lot of these I get an Ipsy. Actually, everything left in my lap I've gotten an Ipsy. The Hemp's I got an Ipsy. The Ahava's I got an Ipsy. The other hand lotion I got an Ipsy. I, I don't mind. Um, I am super dry like everywhere. So I don't mind getting body lotion or hand lotion or lotion period. Um, the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Body Lotion. This one's newer. And my camera's flashing at me. So this one has a light take a little bit off of my hand so I can smell it it's a light musky fragrance and I like woodsy and musky fragrances it has like a hint of floral to it just a hint and let's see it just this fragrance it doesn't tell me what kind so but I really like the Ahava stuff and this actually said it was made in Germany ah. Okie dokie. Made in Germany. That's where my grandparents were made. Um, and then we get into like my favorite lotion brand. Um, this one is the one that's almost like slap empty. As you can see, it's like quite squished. I can barely get anything out of it. This is, these are all from Cake Beauty, which I think got bought out by, um, the hair care line. I think it's called Mark. Uh, I'll have to like leave it. Mark Anthony bought the Mark Anthony hair care line bought out Cake Beauty. Um, it's also delectable. You'll also find them as that. They have very, yeah, this one says delectable on it. Um, you'll find that these prices for their uh, lotions are very, very like drugstore friendly, like $8 for a big thing of it. One of these little guys is like six or seven dollars. Um, some of them go for eight, some of them go for 12 when they're bigger sizes, but these are very reasonably priced. Um, this one here is the Heavy Cream Rich Vanilla Shea Butter Deeply Nourishing. It's this uh, intense smooth, smoothing body butter balm. I use this on my feet, my knees, my ankles, my uh, legs, my arms. Every I, I can use this everywhere. And it doesn't, none of the fragrance in the Cake Beauty stuff, that smells really like vanilla cake. It's like fresh cake batter is what this smells like. Oh, there's a little bit of bloop in there. Yeah, it smells so good. Um, the they're very very thick moisturizers, very moisturizing. I really really like them, and the fragrance in here does not burn my skin. I can even use these on my face, and it doesn't cause me to break out like some some lotions you can't put on your face because it really like screws up your skin. Then we have the one that I have now a duplicate of. This is the one that came in the mail today. This is the Milk Made Totally to Die For Indulgent Body Cream. Oat Milk Candied Cream. Seriously beautifying. This is not as thick of a formula as the other 
heavy cream one. It is a thicker, let's see if I can get some to, yeah, this one, I told you this one's almost dead. But it's, it's quite a thick cream. Let me see if I can hit back in. Can I? I kind of got it. Ah, fuck it. I'll just put it on my leg. I'll put it on my leg and I'll use it on my knees here in a second. So I'm glad that I have a backup of this one. I spent like 600 points on Ipsy because it said I had so many points that were expiring soon. And I had like 2,600 or 2,800 points. So I had to spend points. And this was the only thing that was in the store that I saw that I could use. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed it. So that's a brand new one. So I'll put both of those there. The ones that are almost empty, I'm sticking towards the front. Then we have the Delectable, which again, it's the same brand as the Cake Beauty. Um, uh, again, owned now by Mark, Mark Anthony Beauty. This is the Butter Balm Hand Cream Triple Citrus Blend. I don't know if I opened this one. No, I didn't. This one's still sealed. So let's, let's pop the cherry on this bad boy, shall we? This one is also very thick. Let's see what you smell like. It's like definitely tangerine, um, fresh, fresh tangerine, like overripe, fresh tangerine with a, with a hint of like lemon. No, I take that back lime. Yep, definitely lime. So fresh tangerine, overripe tangerine with a hint of, of lime is that one. And like I said, I got that one in as an add-on for $3 from my um, July Ipsy Glam bag. That's why I was like, wait a minute, I thought I got everything that I was supposed to get. And then, of course, the Ipsy bag came in today. And so I was like, uh, what? <laughs> so... I knew I needed to get this film because I've been talking about my hand cream collection for a while. I have some other Cake Beauty products that I have used up. I will stick some graphics on the screen so you can see them. Um, some of them, like the one that's in the white tube that's longer, that one there isn't quite as thick as these, but these are hand creams. These are supposed to be thick and rich and luxurious, and they certainly are. Other than like leaving like smeary prints on my phone, which, you know, I'm anal about keeping that clean anyways. And even after freshly washing my hands at, with Dial antibacterial soap, I still leave greasy smeary fingerprints on my phone, which drive me insane. Um, so, I mean, other than that, these don't feel like greasy. They don't leave you feeling tacky. Um, none of these hand lotions do that. I don't have any issues with skin irritation. The fragrance doesn't bother me. And if it had, it, I would have not have kept it. Like I get some things in, I think it was something Lepore I got a couple months ago. Um, I'll stick a graphic on the screen. Um, I think it was it's Nina Lepore. Anyways, it's like a $25 lotion and I got a, a small thing of it. Um, it, the, it was way over fragrance. Just taking it out of the bag made my eyes water. That right there tells me that I'm not gonna be able to use it. So I figured I would film this update um, since I've, I've had people ask about, you know, what I use the lotions and stuff for. These are what I keep here. And like I said, this one will go back on my desk, the humps one, so that I can put it on there. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys want more of these like chill laid back kind of videos in my room. Um, I was filming my uh, Real Talk with Rebecca's in here and I've kind of rearranged things a little bit. I want to take my bed and turn it and put it against this wall because the window is right over there. See the window? And then where the frog is, my altar is right underneath that. But I keep that covered so the cats don't scratch it because the altar was made for me by my friend Troy and um, or Nighthawk, however most people know him. Um, but, uh, it was handmade and hit in his, um, other half hand painted it for me and she did a beautiful job. So I do not want cats destroying it. So anyways, but this is, this is my bed and, um, my messy book. These are all the books I'm currently in the middle of reading right now. And then there's a candle stuck over here to hold them up. Um, so yeah, I, that stays in there 
due to hurricanes. And I've got a, a big one down there that stays in a coffee can just in case we lose power. And I've always got fire maker things in the nightstand and whatnot. So anyways, hopefully this is helpful. If you're looking for a good hand cream, I will leave whatever I can linked down below and you can check them out on your own. Like I said, the Cake Beauty ones are very affordable. Ahava is a little bit more expensive and the dollar store ones, I don't think you can find those and don't buy from an MLM. I was, I was a rep for uh, Melaleuca. That's how I have that because you had to order so much per month and I still have products that I'm using now that I bought like 20 years ago. So don't sign, don't buy anything from anybody that sells anything from an MLM. So anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic day or night wherever you are.